installation video will be for the Pebble 2. And here is the layout. Now fits the HR and the regular. And as you see, you get the top piece, the bezel, and the sides. And you do get some extra buttons that you could peel. Now the first thing you want to do is start with the top. As you see, I have not pressed the edges down yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is heat it with the household hair dryer and then press once it softens. Because if you press, then heat, you have a greater chance of contracting right back to the original shape. So I'm just going to let it soften, and then you press. Okay, we're done with the top. Next will be the sides. Then the opposite side. Then the screen bezel. Now as for the small buttons, it's going to use scotch tape to grip it. Give it a good alignment. After your installation is complete, it's going to get a household hair dryer and heat the edges to give it a nice seal. Now next are the optional center screen guards and the full screen guards. Now you get two and two. The center screen guards are used with the bezel and the full screen guards are used for those who do not like the bezel. Now there are two methods, there's dry and there's wet method. Uh, I'm going to show you the difference, the dry method. And I'm going to use a piece of scotch tape to grab at least half of it so that I do not get a fingerprint mark on the adhesive. Now, as for the dry method, you only get one chance to give that alignment. I'm just going to peel the scotch tape off and from the center to out, I'm going to press. There are two little bubbles there, and that's what can happen with the dry method. They may or may not come out. But highly recommended is the wet method. Now, as for the wet method, all you need is glass cleaner. First, you want to wet your hands so you don't get fingerprints underneath the adhesive. Just give it a little bit of squirt onto the center screen guard. Now the wet method gives you the ability to move it around. Next, I'm going to use a credit card wrapped over paper towel. And as you see, I am dragging the fluid out. Might have to go a few times. And then what you want to do is just let it naturally dry. It can take about 24 hours for the haze to disappear. As you see, I am dragging the fluid out from the middle out through all four corners.